Hi guys, let's jump into our lesson for Tuesday, April 6th. Our lesson today, we're going to jump into our first lesson of our um, economics unit, okay? And we're talking about the resources, economics, and wants and needs. First, we need to know, though, what is the economy? This is going to be the financial state of a country or a region. It's going to be based on wealth and resources. We're also going to talk about goods and services and consumers, okay? Um, so it's really about the finances, though. We're going to get into a lot of different things um, throughout this unit. But first, today, we're going to talk about types of resources. I'm just going to give you a quick overview, okay, of what a resource is. This is going to be anything used to produce a good or a service that people value or use. So our resources are things that we use um, to make things. Okay, natural resources, these are going to be things that come from nature. Um, they can be living or non-living, so they can be animal products, they can be plants, it can be air. We use a lot of that for like wind energy, solar energy, um, water energy, okay? These are all natural resources. They naturally occur in our earth. There is also renewable resources. These are going to be resources that can continually be replaced naturally or by humans. So in our lifetime, we can see that these resources can be replaced. Water, for example, is an abundant resource. It, even when we use it, it just evaporates and eventually we have precipitation and it comes back, it never goes away. Wind and solar energy and trees, okay, even if you cut down a tree to use the lumber, it can grow back within our lifetime, okay, um, an equally large tree or the same type of tree, okay. Where on the other hand, we have non-renewable resources. We do, <coughs> excuse me, use these, okay, a lot, like fossil fuels. These are things that cannot be replaced in a timely manner or in our lifetime. Once we use them up, they're gone. These are going to be fossil fuels like coal, natural gas, oil. Um, how long do you think that it takes coal, oil, or natural gas to form? Up to 550 million years. Or on the other hand, we have things like water, which is constantly not renewing, but replenishing, okay? Or trees that can grow in just a few years. These fossil fuels, it can take millions of years for them to form. That's why they're non-renewable. So what type of resource, renewable or non-renewable, do you think is better? Why? Send me an email, okay? Um... All right, now let's talk about wants versus needs, okay? This is pretty obvious to you guys, I'm sure. Wants are going to be something that we desire, but we don't need them necessarily to survive, where needs are going to be something that we have to have in order to survive, okay? So what is this? A want or need? Clothes. That's a need. It keeps us warm, okay? Now, designer clothes or fancy clothes, are those a need? No, those would be a want. What about video games? Do we want those to survive or do we need those? Definitely a want. I know sometimes it feels like you need them, but no. Food. Again, food is definitely a need, but does that mean that you have to have fancy food or takeout food or anything like that? No, you just have some sort of food. Okay. What about books? As much as I want to say that they're a need, they are not a need. Okay. What about a pool? Definitely a want. Okay. Definitely a want. And I meant to say um, that books are a want as well. They are not a need, um, even though it feels like it at times. What about a safe place to live? Again, guys, that is a need. That is something that you have to have shelter to live. Do you need a mansion? No, you just need a safe place to live. What about water? Again, we need that to live. Okay. What are some things that you need in your life to survive? What are some things that you want but don't need to survive? Send me an email. Okay. Um, your show it is posted. If you have any questions, please let me know.